104 year old woman, Mama Africa, has now advised Nigerians on whom to vote for during the 2023 presidential election coming up this Saturday. Very old indeed, 104 years, and they still have very good command of his, her senses that is even become a political advisor to Nigerians, saying, this is the person you will vote for. Do you not want to know who is saying that they should vote for? I will give you the details in a minute, but please like this video by giving us a thumbs up. That is how YouTube will now recommend it to more people to see what this old woman did. Share it also and subscribe to our channel, especially if you are coming across us for the very first time. And I'm wondering how they know exactly the age of the woman. It could be. So it's a 104 year old woman. The name is High Chief Law Law Iyom Josephine Eze Anya Eche. He has declared her support for the presidential candidate, wait for it, of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, and his running mate, Dati Baba Ahmed. Wow. You see, you are there, and this 104 years old woman went obedient. It's almost, uh, it could be even the grandmother of Peter Obi. You see, according to her, Obi and Dati have the capacity to make Nigeria an investment hub. Oh, she must have been a professor. Ezanye Che, also the chairman emeritus of the Voice for Senior Citizens of Nigeria, known as Mama Africa, said this when she visited the Labour Party office in Abuja. Wow. Okay, it's a emeritus chair person. Wow. Then she knows what she's talking about. According to her, the endorsement of Obi as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria was because he is qualified as the number one out of the four major contestants. Okay. She further said the such light for his uh, selection was nationally oriented and accepted for his visionary leadership, integrity, transparency, competence, capacity, character, selflessness, enlightenment, education, nationalistic, and globally acclaimed. I told you people that this 104-year-old woman must be a professor. You have had it. My mouth is full with the words he used to describe uh, P2B, calling him for this honorable task in our assessment will comfort Nigerians for a new beginning. We'll be on that we face the economy and create jobs. If the economy is fixed, it will be easier to tackle insecurity, fight corruption, and improve the social well-being of the people. To be honest to you, it's like the woman is reading from a prepared speech. I think... She was giving a speaking in a rally because this is very, very, um, the, the, the thing she's saying here, it, it doesn't look like somebody who is speaking extempore. Right. He further said to be is passionate. He can undertake many construction and um, a good job for Nigeria said is a good opportunity, great opportunity for Nigerians to rebuild the country, noting that Obi will unite the people of Nigeria in all ramifications to make Nigeria one united family. She said that Nigerians are long yielding, yearning for the younger generation to take the mantle of leadership to rescue Nigeria from the current predicament. And in her own estimation, which I value because 104 years old is not 104 days old. So if she says in her own estimation, I have to listen very, very carefully.
Um, I don't know what you think about this, but Peter B. Lately, if is uh, gathering a lot of momentum. Many people coming out to support him, and for the first time in Nigerian political history, the little I have experienced, a sitting governor of an opposition party comes out and say, "I'm supporting a presidential candidate from another party." Wow! Who said Nigeria is not changing? Governor Samuel Otom of Benue State announced it in public glare that he is supporting P2B, presidential candidate of the Labour Party. And mind you, Samuel Otom is a governor under the platform of the PDP. He is still a member. He is not dismissed from the party. But he came out boldly and said, yeah, I'm not voting for the presidential candidate of my party. I'm going to Peter Obi. A lot of uh, men of God, women of God, pastors, evangelists, bishops have also come out publicly something that they've never done before and announced that they are in support of Peter Obi. That includes like uh, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, includes like Pastor Paul Leneche, and many more. Some reputable individuals, even some opposition party members, said, okay, we are in PDP, but we are going to vote for P2B. It's happened. And it's still happening. Right, so that's where we are. This uh, 104 year old woman have said we will all be ob obedient. What about you? What do you think? Are you going to listen to old mama Africa or you will not listen and go batified or articulated? The choice is yours, is um, a free world. You can take it or you leave it. Thank you for tuning in uh, to this series of uh, updates on 2023 presidential election. We hope to see you soon in a new update. Like this video, please, by giving us a thumbs up, share it among your friends and contacts, and then subscribe to our channel so that when we release any video, it comes directly to you. We do really appreciate you for coming back. See you in our next update.